Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Today we're tackling a topic that spans back to the beginning of time mm -hmm. as society evolves and we continue to fight for gender equality, breaking glass ceilings and making strides for women to have equal pay and equal rights. How does that affect traditional gender roles, especially in relationships? Mm -hmm. Should women still be expected to cook clean and take care of home if she's also bringing home their money? Should men still be expected to pay all the bills and bring home the bacon if he's also cooking and cleaning? Ladies, what are our thoughts on this? It's pretty heavy. I think it's a, it should be a shared responsibility. Uh -huh. There's nothing like being a woman and working all day and then when you get home, and, you, and say for instance, if your husband is also your husband's also working, but when you get home, he's looking in your face saying, "What are we gonna eat today?" Mm -hmm. Well, you know, you were home first. Why could you have not prepared a meal for us? Right. Why is it my responsibility if both parties are working and right. both parties are contributing to the household? Um, I just think that it's it's a bit. Um, it's a bit unfair when it comes down to the roles and responsibilities that's placed in expectations. Mm -hmm. Let me just say that. Yeah. Expectations that are placed on women um, versus a man, mm -hmm. you know, and I think that comes from when, when you, you, you're young and you have little boys and they're kids and you, you know, the mommies are taking care of them and you're doing everything for them and, and, and they do nothing. So then they grow up and do nothing and do nothing yeah. as men. Yeah. 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 Um, Smitty and I, we, we split. Like, it, you know, I don't really think that there's a you do this, you do that. Now, I do expect certain things like, you know, cutting the grass. I think it's an understood type of thing um, and, and the trash and all that. But I, we've talked about the trash before pretty heavily on, yeah. on this mm -hmm. show. If it's not going to get done, then I'm going to take it out. But my parents did raise me to be able to do everything. Um, you know, so I don't necessarily... Did they raise Did your pin? brother to yeah, do absolutely. everything too? Oh yeah, okay, my well, brother that's, that's a rare situation. He does, my, my brother does everything and he and my sister in love Dina, they share the cooking responsibilities. See, that's they, that's I perfect. mean, he might be cooking lamb chops one day and she's cooking like black eyed peas the next day. They really share that. Now Smitty, <clears throat> now I am on set in the morning so he does take care of breakfast. But when it comes down to that dinner, y'all are gonna be like, so what we eating tonight? Mm -hmm. And my mom always said, she was like, be careful. What you do in the beginning, they want you to do throughout the entire marriage. So I would come home making gourmet Thai dishes and all this stuff. <laughs> now he wants gourmet Thai dishes on a Tuesday night, you know, so because I spoiled him. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, in the grand scheme of things, that to me is very small. We share everything. This man That's can good. clean his behind off. That's good. And I take his lead when it comes to the cleaning and really? stuff. Like, absolutely. He is very, a very cleanly man. Yeah, and he was good. raised that way. So good. I... I credit his parents for the way they raised him to be able to do everything he's brought that in our marriage. Yeah, I'm really happy that they raised him like that. Yes, amen. Yeah, me too. Well, you know, this is a, a, a touchy mm -hmm. situation because on one hand of the spectrum, you want, like, I know women, and, and I'm one of them, I used to be one of them, I still am sometimes, who wish I could just sit on in the house and do nothing mm -hmm. and just cook and do with the kids and just that's all I got to do right and not have to worry about any bills or any of that and then the man does all the bills and stuff you still do the outside you mm -hmm. know because I ain't cutting no grass mm -hmm. but I handle all, everything on the inside but you gotta take the garbage out mm -hmm. and then like I just cook and clean to like raise kids and like do homeschooling and make sure my kids on point because I've done that and I've been a working, I am a working woman. So I've done both. And as a working woman, I wish sometimes that I could just be at home with my kids and really get a rain on them more. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It, as a mom, it's very important for me. It has nothing to do with the husband or anything that he's doing. Just as a, as a mom, that innate um, drive to want to have a hold of your kids and mm -hmm. kind of steer them in the right direction mm -hmm. is, in this, is, a, is just a, I guess an innate need. You well, know what I'm but, saying? Uh, but are you raising your but, boys but to be what, able to take care one of themselves? Moment of, one moment, I, I would raise them to be able to take care of myself. I would raise my children, right. whether they're men or women, just Absolutely. because you just want them. I just said boys because that's what you have. Oh, yeah. But, but I would raise my children. Whichever mm -hmm. child, right. kind of child I had, I would raise them to be able to um, take care of themselves. However, I think that we have to get out of the mindset of 
woman do this, man do that. We have to stop that nowadays because we don't live in those times where that is conducive. Women are out here trying to make it happen. We're single moms, our men are in jail, our men, mm. some men just don't want us, period. So we're left alone in a lot of instances. There are a lot of single moms. So of course, she has to teach her child, she has the responsibility of having to teach the child mm. everything mm. because she doesn't know what life that's gonna be in front of them. Right. So you should just wanna do that, teach your children, uh, uh, to be do just to have duality period you should you should whether it's boy or girl now on the other hand I do believe that parent women spoil their boys and raise, and raise their, their girls hard mm -hmm. so now you have a bunch of strong women and weak men weak as water and that is what's happening in our society now not all women but I do think that women cater more to their boys and they, 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 they cook they and do. clean for them and take mm -hmm. care of them more. And so for me as a mom with boys, I'm, I'm very, very specific and I'm very, very intentional, uh, intentional about how I raise my boys. Right, and I don't play the radio with them because I don't want them to grow up and think that everything is gonna be handed to them. And, and then I don't want you to find a woman that's gonna do that. I want you to have a woman that's strong like your mother. Mm -hmm. I want you to see the example and get a woman like that so that she can raise strong children. Mm -hmm. Because I don't want him thinking, because the world's not gonna pacify you, as a, especially as a black man. Mm -hmm. So I have to teach him to be strong on a lot of different levels. But I do, I've been, I've seen where women baby these boys and just tell the women, figure it out, fix it, get do it, yeah. do that to the women. So now you have all these strong women and all these weak men. Wow. Mm -hmm. And yeah. now we're in a nightmare. I would love to get the uh, perspective from some of our followers who are in the uh, LGBTQI um, um, Community. and relationships and yes. see about gender roles that there dynamic because is we're talking about really one specific type, type of dynamic. Of relationship, so I would yeah. love to, to, to get their thoughts or maybe have an additional it's probably conversation. probably more of a shared responsibility on yes. that. But we don't know. Wait, I'm just saying yeah. that's why I use the word probably. Probably, right. right. I, I just would like to think that, you know, uh, coming together as the same sex, you are already known, known for what you have have to do on your own. I want to go back to what Selena said. I don't know how much time we have, but uh, Selena was saying that in the world, you know, you utilize uh, the saying, the world is not going to coddle him. The world mm -hmm. is not going to treat him well, or the world is going to be harsh. And I think taking that same, those same statements, that is one of the reasons why women baby mm -hmm. them. Well, he's not going to get any love mm -hmm. in the world, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. I got to give him all the love right now. Girl, you are making a sorry, sad case of a man. He is not going to always be your baby boy, period. And he ain't your husband. Well, we'd love to hear your thoughts, guys, uh, on this uh, heavy topic at Sister Circle it's TV. It's a fool.